Alpha lipoic acid is most probably one of the most amazing supplements that you can take. Uh, it's good for anti-inflammatory. It makes your insulin become more sensitive, reduce your blood sugar level. It's really important to take alpha lipoic acid. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. Welcome back to Holistic Diabetic Foot Ulcers Cure Series. On the last video, which was a part one of six holistic treatments, we talked about understanding of four types of diabetes, metabolic syndrome, which is called syndrome X, two important players like insulin and leptin, and we talked about what your diabetic diet should follow. Now on this part two of the six holistic treatments to overcome diabetes, we'll talk about supplements, exercise, sleep and stress, love, joy, peace, forgiveness, and most importantly, your commitment to overcome diabetes. Let's get right into it. So let's review a little bit of diet. We talked about diet on the last visit, uh, uh, last video, sorry. Uh, we talked about water, protein, sugar, fat, fasting, and detoxing to have a diabetic diet all the time. I call this an anti-inflammatory diet, really to improve your sugar level so your sugar is not going up and down too much. It's gonna be a lot more, it's gonna be some up and down, but it's gonna be more stable as to going up and down, so it makes you feel a lot better rather than this being on a roller coaster ride. Next one is supplements. Uh, people ask me about supplements all the time. Uh, I'm gonna kind of summarize it. There's a whole lot more about the vitamins that I can talk about, but vitamin A, D, and usually um, K come with the D, uh, and then uh, vitamin B, which we talked about for the uh, nerves and your neuropathy. Alpha lipoic acid is most probably one of the most amazing supplements that you can take. Uh, it's good for anti-inflammatory. It makes your insulin become more sensitive, reduce your blood sugar level. It's really important to take alpha lipoic acid. We also talked about probiotics, how getting your gut to be uh, working a lot better, so it taxes less on your liver, which produces all kinds of different things to help your diabetes. So it's very important to supplement these things. Next one are the minerals. Now, what are all these minerals? There are a whole lot of other ones as well, but minerals, these minerals basically uh, make your insulin more sensitive. In other words, help the insulin do the work and also reduces the sugar level at the same time. Magnesium, we talked about it, it's a relaxation mineral. I, I take them throughout the day and also at nighttime. And then the zinc, obviously, it's, a, it's an immune builder and also it helps uh, your sugar level as well. Chromium, picolinate, chromium is an, another really good uh, mineral, as well as vanadin, uh, van uh, vanadyl sulfate, uh, another vanadium is another really good uh, mineral that can really help uh, reduce your sugar level and also makes your insulin become more sensitive. Next one is your herbs. I take a lot of herbs. I'm gonna show you all the other herbs, but we're gonna just work on this today. And I'm gonna show you what other herbs that I take for my other reasons. Since I'm aging, I need to make sure that I, I age gracefully and with more energy so I can give you more information and help more patients and help my family and all the other things. So I, I take a lot of these herbs. Now, herbs, berberine and bitter melon, which is probably the most important one. If you're diabetic, you need to be taking these because there are many studies done on these herbs where these herbs can work uh, about the same as well as a diabetic medication or even better. There's some studies that shows that it works even better than your diabetic pill, uh, you know, your, your metformin and all these other things you're taking. So I don't want you to take these and then those together and not check your blood uh, uh, because if you, it may bring your blood level too low, especially bitter melon, works really quickly to bring your blood uh, sugar level down. So you don't want to take any of these herbs without checking your blood sugar if you happen to be taking your diabetic medication. So that's the warning that's very important. I don't want you to take all these herbs that I take uh, with, without taking, uh, getting off of those medications first. So I recommend maybe combination, you do a lessen the dosage, you try some herbs and see if it lowers it, then you need to lower your uh, diabetic medication dosage as well. And curcumin, anti-inflammatory, cinnamon, gymnema, fenugreek, these are all the herbs that are very effective at lowering your blood sugar, making your insulin more sensitive so it can do its work to bring the sugar into your body. We're about halfway through my top six holistic treatments for healing diabetic foot ulcers. If you've enjoyed this video so far or learned something new, leave the words holistic rocks in the comments below and be sure to give it thumbs up. 
Next one is adaptogenic herbs. I take a lot more than I took. I take about 20 different kinds, but these are the ones that I recommend most important because what's adaptogenic means you adapt to stress. Now, when you're diabetic, one of the stresses, your blood sugar going up and down. It even happens to me. A lot of people think when I don't, when I eat, the sugar doesn't go up. Not true because I'm not using the medication. So it's going to go up. My goal is to keep it under around 180. So when I eat food, I don't want to go over 180, but everybody does unless you're on medication. So it's going up a little bit after your meal and then coming down. We just don't want to crash down too low where you have to eat right away. Where you, you feel dizzy and you have to do something. So you want to make it more even and that's all you, you're doing. Adapt, adaptogenic herbs are the ones that gives you more energy so you'll be able to handle all this going up and down. As you know, when you're fatigued, if somebody sells you something, you get more upset and more, more stressed because you're, you, have, you don't have enough a, a, adaptogenic ability to be able to handle all the stress. So this is, these are the herbs to help you handle more stress of going up and down, uh, stress of life, stress of family, and there's a lot of stress going on. And this, these herbs are really helpful to give you more energy, give you more adaptogenic energy to be able to handle it. Rhodiola is one, reishi, resveratrol. Uh, I get plenty of that by drinking some wine over the weekend. This is in the res <laughs> resveratrol. Very powerful uh, one to really give you more energy. PQQ. Maca. Maca is, gives you like pure energy. I put that in my uh, protein shake. Uh, I drink that every day, all day long, pretty much. Ashwagandha is another very powerful. Um, this, this basically means energy of, of the horses. That's how important this herb is to give you that energy of the horses. Curcumin, gotu cola, cinnamon, alfalfa. These are all adaptogenic herbs to give you more energy, be able to handle uh, sugar level going up and down, all the rest of the uh, stress that's going on, which really affects your sugar level all day long. Exercise. Uh, walking is excellent exercise. Instead of, uh, I recommend, instead of uh, going for the uh, little sugar or dessert after your meal, go for a walk. Talk to your you know, friends. Get your office to walk right after uh, your, your meal because that's going to tamper down your sugar level right after. Hiking, I recommend it, it's even better, you know, if you can do it on the weekend on a regular basis. Resistance exercise, which is your weight training, which is very important. We talked about Getting more demand of sugar in your muscles would help control your sugar better, right? So it's very important to build your muscles, not fat, build your muscles. When you build your muscle, that's the secret. Then you're going to reduce the amount of fat you're going to have in your body. Why? It burns the fat naturally. And high intensity interval training, which is going fast and slow and fast and slow. I'll go a little bit more detail on that, how I use that. I use the band. I use the band on my arms and my legs to to decrease the vascular circulation, not the one going down to give you oxygen, but the vein that's coming up, it's, it's, it's protecting, it's compressing it where you don't have to work out as hard or heavy to get the same kind of pump. If you've been working out like 40 years like I have, I really miss my pump, that action. I used to bodybuild too, so that I cannot get anymore because I'm not, I'm not that young. In my 20s and my 30s, I used to get that pump. But when I use these bands, I feel the pump and it, and it improves your growth hormone activity and it really helps your energy level too. So it's a very powerful way to exercise. Stretching, very important, especially if you have a back injury or other things. Hip area is very important, the shoulder area and stretching. Inversion, we talked about going upside down is very important to get uh, back stretched out and then getting more oxygen into in between your, your vertebra to increase your 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 strength on all of that, and then getting it stretched out is really important. And obviously I do a lot of kicking, which I highly recommend for your hip area strength, because when this area gets weak, because when we're sitting too much, and you see all these seniors keep falling because you don't have good core, which is your stomach and your hip area. So kicking is another exercise that I recommend. Be sure to like this video if you found it interesting or learned something new. If you think someone else will enjoy it, be sure to send it to them. Stay tuned for my next video in my Diabetic Also series coming out next Sunday, my personal daily rituals. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels such as Instagram and Facebook to stay updated on everything happening on my channel. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.